Well, good Friday morning to you. I hope you are enjoying your morning. Hey, you know what? Clyde has the day off and guess what? It's Ladies Day, Allie. Hey, Mama. Hey. It is so good to see you, Allie. And <laughs> the reason, just one of the reasons it's so good to see you is I love your new haircut. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, 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 I lost the bet, Mona. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you ended up winning. So tell me, were you scared? And what made you decide to get your new haircut? You know, uh, that's, a, that's a good question because this haircut has actually been something I've been thinking about for the last year. And I really didn't vocalize it too much, which is probably a good thing. And then, I believe it or not, I actually kind of put out a poll on Instagram at one point in time just to see what people's feedback would be and if I should have gone back to that bob or this. And it was exactly 50-50. Keep in mind, I already knew I was going to cut my hair. <laughs> and then I also reached out to the hairdresser that I've been going to for the last two and a half years over at Parlor, Sarah. So shout out to her. And when I sent her this idea, her overwhelmingly positive feedback was kind of the icing on the cake for me to jump into it and dive into it. And next thing you know, I had booked the appointment. I had never, ever done a full cut like this or a color or anything. So that was my first time going through almost a two hour session at a salon. And it really, it was an awesome experience. I was not scared. I was pretty confident with it. Like maybe I might turn out looking more like my brother. I don't know, but I think it looks good and I'm loving it. And it's very low maintenance. So you might understand that too, from having, you know, shorter hair as well, that it's, it's a lot easier to just keep it with volume and looking fresh, I guess. <laughs> yes. I remember the days when I had shorter hair, it's now growing out of control, but Ali, <laughs> I need to give you my opinion on your haircut. It is perfect for you. It fits your personality, you're, you're bubbly, you're, and it's just freestyle on your hair. It's, it's easier for you because of the job that you do. You're out there lugging equipment and, you know, just interacting with so many people. It's just, I love it. Love your haircut. Um. Mona, thank you. I, I so, so appreciate it because I honestly, I, I'm very overwhelmed in the, in the most wonderful, joyous way possible with the overall feedback because not that I was expecting people to tell me, oh my gosh, you look hideous, but uh, it just been <laughs> no. really, really positive. And I'm so thank you so, so much. And you and are so welcome. So what's going on this weekend where maybe you can go out and show your haircut even more. Yeah, yeah, so you you know, the holidays are super close and around the corner and some of that is still a little bit of last minute shopping. So if you're looking for any last minute shopping, here's some, maybe some local recommendations to look into. Uh, I know for sure I'll be hitting up Coffee Emporium. I think they're a great local place to go if you know someone who loves coffee, maybe check out their Chemex. Mm. And they also do a lot of great, you know, local chocolates. Another great place on the northern Kentucky side that I'll probably be looking into if anyone else wants to also shop local is Butler's Pantry. So they're doing individual mm -hmm. local gift baskets and they're also doing uh, local like gingerbread cookie kits. So that could be Ooh. something really fun to do with your families. Yeah, it's $10 for sugar cookies, $12 for gingerbread and you get six cookies and assortment of icing and sprinkles. So that could be a really fun way uh, to get your family involved and also to knock out some holiday shopping. So that's what's on the well, list, Mona. You know what, <laughs> Allie, you always are full of good information for things for us to do for the weekend and otherwise. But hey, we've got a lot of great things going on in the show today. But first, we want to start with some health tips. Allie? There have been so many questions about COVID-19 and many of them involve testing from procedure to timing to even where to go. Just to give us a reminder, what is Test and Protect? So Test and Protect is a partnership funded by Hamilton County CARES Act dollars. Um, it is led by the Health Collaborative in partnership with eight other organizations who have come together to work collectively to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our Hamilton County community. 
You know, now this is a very basic question I'm about to ask you, but I think there's a lot of information out there and it can be very overwhelming. But the basic question of why is testing so important? So testing is really one of the number one kind of tools in our defense against COVID-19. Early identification provides the opportunity for an individual to self-isolate sooner, especially if they know that they're positive, which then decreases the chances that they would transfer the virus to somebody else. It also helps from a um, a medical treatment standpoint as well. If you know that you're positive and you're really starting to not feel well, seeking medical advice sooner uh, helps also, helps kind of mitigate the, the risks of more of severe infection if we can help treat it sooner. Are there any insights or data that really has stood out to you that you would not have expected? Well, I mean, I think since March when um, COVID-19 um, appeared, or at least that we were aware of uh, COVID-19 in our country, um, we started hearing data across the nation showing a disproportionate impact of COVID-19 on black and brown populations in particular. Um, and so the data that we are seeing in Hamilton County does, you know, definitely mirrors the data sets that we're seeing across the nation. And that's you know, the reason I think myself and many of the other organizations that the Health Collaborative have convened are working together um, to, to look at ways to enhance and increase testing across our county. So what would you say is that one final thought that you want people to know about Test and Protect? Uh, well, the uh, tests are at no cost to the individual. And so we really do encourage people to go out and get testing. We know that many people are who are COVID positive don't experience symptoms. And so you can go to one of our testing sites. If you go out to the healthcollab.org backslash test and protect, you can find the, um, the days and times of our testing sites around the community. And we just encourage anybody, whether you have symptoms or not, to go and get a test and to do that as frequently as you can fit into your schedule, um, whether it's a couple of times a week or once a month, just to know your status. And to find a test and protect testing site near you, head to healthcollab.org slash test and protect. You can also pre-register to save time. Beautiful views, decadent dinners, and plenty of activities to take part in. Now this may sound like a cruise, but it's something better. It's the Kenwood by Senior Star, and we had a chance to hear from some residents about why they chose to spend their golden years there. Take a look. We knew that at some point we wanted to move into a, a senior sitting, citizen living area because we just want to be independent as long as we can, but we didn't like the upkeep of a house and getting on ladders and doing gutters and that type of thing. So uh, we lived for quite a while on a high rise on the river and we loved the high rise concept. So we looked here and we found some models we liked and um, put our name on the waiting list. And when it came up, we moved. We looked for, for uh, safety, security, uh, and when we toured the place, it was the, the, the pristine cleaning, obviously, that was going on here. It made us feel very comfortable, especially, this is even before the COVID. Uh, we also came because of the food. Um, we came a couple times for dinners and we're very impressed about the food, the presentation. As COVID has evolved, they now have opened the dining room for fine dining. We have the option of um, doing carry out bistro items, which is delicious from the deli. And um, we can always have anything delivered uh, all day long, uh, three meals a day if you don't want to go out of your room. She always tells people it's a cruise ship on land. I'm stealing her. Her, her comment with that, and it's, it's, it is, we've got a, 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 a uh, sheet telling us almost every hour things are going on, and so I think we're both getting a very uh, how do I say, enriched environment here. Uh, from my own perspective, I, I love the, the Diane Shields lectures, that, that's a classic. The things I never learned, you know, in my many years of education, I'm now being exposed to through that, and there's one or two movies essentially almost every day uh, going on seven days a week. Uh, they have happy hour uh, several times a week <clears throat> down in the Marquis Theater. It brings people together 
and they can, uh, you know, interact with each other because everybody's in the same boat. During COVID, um, I'm the one that loves to do all the activities and early on the activity department rose to the occasion and they provided virtual activities in the Marquee Theater. They had um, exercise uh, with Arabella, they have Tai Chi for um, uh, relaxation, um, they have piped in musicals, and uh, you can zoom it in your room or you can go down, you would be wearing your mask and be protected, but uh, you could do all those activities. Well, since COVID, we've done things a little differently, but we've been very, very pleased with, pleased with how the Kenwood has managed the COVID and um, they've done things safely. Uh, we've invited friends to come in and move here, and they have, and we highly recommend the Kenwood. There hasn't been anything that hasn't been done with the appropriate safety precautions, compliant with those, those guidelines, because we know the, the repercussions that could occur. They have supported that, we have supported them and uh, we're very happy with uh, how things have evolved uh, and uh, look to have those things behind us in the very near future. Mm, if you'd like to learn more about the Kenwood by Senior Star, visit online at KenwoodbySeniorStar.com or give them a call at 513-399-5953. Will you be hosting a socially distant holiday get together or a happy hour on Zoom? Well, food and lifestyle expert Parker Wallace is joining us with some holiday snack ideas that will be very appealing for the season. Hello, Parker, how are you? Well, Allie, I absolutely love your pun. Great, you know, so right off the top, what are some ways we can brighten up our holiday snacks this year? My best advice is to add color to your holiday meals. Nothing says happy holidays quite like the red skin and that golden glow of Envy apples. Brand name apples are the hottest trend in produce right now. Gone are the days of choosing between just red and green. Today's shopper has dozens of choices throughout the year. And these are one of my favorites with their sweet flavor, beautiful appearance, and satisfying crunch. Envy apples are the perfect snack or addition to your holiday menu. So in keeping up with all the social media trends, and this is a Pinterest win, take a look at my charcuterie chalet. Oh yeah, we've got the Envy apple slices as the walkway up to the chalet, bacon windows, breadstick door, and all of my favorite pepperoni and salami as the roof. We've got peppers lining up and down, and then the, not charcuterie, a jar cootery. Get it? I'm just continuing with the puns that I know that you love. This is amazing for a socially distant holiday gathering, and you get the great combination of the sweet with the peanut butter and the savory with some of your favorite meats because the Envy Apples pair with everything. Well, sounds like I'm on trend because check out them apples. Another fun snack activity you can do with the kiddos is to make caramel apple s'mores. Come a little closer, take a look. Chocolate and regular graham crackers alternated with all of that luscious melt in your mouth, delicious. Oh yeah, it's happening, it's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And make sure you look for Envy Apples at Kroger. So what do you suggest as a substitute for those calorie heavy holiday beverages that we really all enjoy? Because I know myself, I love a good hot apple cider with some bourbon in it. That's my go-to. Well, Allie, I'm gonna keep the theme of our puns going here and tell you that I have some utterly delicious ideas for you to start rethinking milk. A2 is the secret ingredient in some of my favorite holiday recipes. It's 100% real dairy milk from local U.S. farms. It comes from cows that naturally produce the A2 protein without any A1, making A2 milk easier on digestion and may even help some people avoid discomfort. It's better protein naturally. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, that's what I thought. Well, since I'm on the naughty, I mean the nice list, <laughs> I'm gonna get to indulge my chocolate obsession one more time and just take a look at how creamy and luscious this cinnamon chocolate peau de creme is made with A2 whole milk. Okay, we're going for it one more time. Mm. 
this should be illegal in like 11 states. <laughs> And forget those high calorie holiday beverages, swap in A2 and your palate and your tummy will thank you. How about a gingerbread latte? Whisk hot coffee with a tablespoon and a half of molasses, a dash of ginger and cinnamon, pour into a mug and add frothed A2 milk. Garnish with a little more cinnamon and some ginger snaps. Mm. Now this is some serious holiday delish. It just warms you up from the inside. And you can find A2 Milk the next time you're shopping at Kroger, Meyer, or Whole Foods. Well, I love those puns. Well, coming up here on Cincy Lifestyle, the holidays always seem hectic, even in 2020. But that's no reason to binge on junk food. A registered dietitian will give us a quick and easy way to keep our diet on track. We got that and so much more on the other side of the break. Stay with us. As we all know, the holidays look a little different this year, but somehow they are always hectic, even in 2020, right? And can lead to the not so good nutritional choices. So to give us some tips on how to make the most of our diet during this time, I'd like to welcome back registered dietitian, Shelly Marie Redmond. Shelly, welcome back. Now, are there any new products that we should look for this holiday season? Well, I am so excited to be here, Allie. And yes, there are some new products we can look at for the holiday season. And just like you said, the holidays are gonna look completely different, but that does not mean there won't have any hectic activities or anything, especially for us parents. We need a little boost while we're on the go because we still have to holiday shop. We gotta prepare some meals. And yes, we still have carpool and homework. So I'm super jazzed to work with Atkins. So Atkins has their new iced vanilla latte protein Ooh. shakes. That's a lot of words, but just know it's a great source of energy and it has as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. Now we do want to talk about nutrition. So one of these shakes, 15 grams of protein, five grams of fiber, which will keep us full and one gram of sugar only. So I absolutely love that. And now of course we can take these in our tote bag, go to work with them, do that last minute Christmas shopping. You can pour them in your glass with ice while maybe you're watching one of those cheesy Christmas movies on TV. But what I really like about this is we can start setting our health goals now for 2021 by heading over to Atkins.com. They have a great selection of meal plans and snack options for those who want to get started. We want 2021 to come tomorrow. Uh, mm -hmm. so that we could get off that quarantine 15 that we maybe put on while we were staying at home. But the really cool part is, is they have a whole bunch of different meal plans and snack options because so many of us have different goals whenever it comes to 2021. And of course you can get this at Atkins.com and Walmart.com. What a 
great. You had me at ice latte, by the way, so I'm in and Christmas movies. And now, what would you say is your favorite go-to weeknight snack? Right, so one of the things that I do and that I'm teaching my clients is that we don't wanna make our meals hectic, like you said earlier. So instead of maybe doing the big, huge turkey, we could do a small turkey breast or maybe a Cornish hen. But even for weeknights and for that holiday meal, we can think about a vegetable and think about roasting it. So for example, we just have simple roasted asparagus. We kind of want to get out of our head the boring vegetable tray. And this is such simple ingredients. We have our asparagus, a little bit of nonstick cooking spray, a little salt, a little pepper in the oven for about 18 minutes. It's easy. It kind of gives us that warm feeling without so many ingredients. I love that. Yeah, and you can really zhuzh it up with seasoning and different flavors and whatnot too to kind of appeal to everyone. So one more time, where can everyone find all this information? So we can find these great products at Kings.com. You can also go there and get some great meal plans. Plus you can go to Walmart.com to purchase these bad boys. Awesome. Well, Shelly, thank you so much and happy holidays. Same to you. And we'll be back with more Cincy Lifestyle on the other side of the break. Plus, Cincy Lifestyle has full episodes of the show up on YouTube. You can find fun segments you've never seen before, or you can watch your favorites again and again. So subscribe now on YouTube.com slash Cincy Lifestyle. Stay with us. We'll be back. And thank you so much for joining us on Cincy Lifestyle on this Friday, December 18th. Make a great day. Thanks for watching our video. And if you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button. You can also check out full episodes of the show you've never seen before or watch your favorites again and again. And as always, we love to say it, make it a great day.